What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna continue building out our state capital flashcard app with Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna continue building out our state capital flashcard app. But before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to check out codeby.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we wrote some code behind the scenes to randomize all of this stuff so that we can pick three different state capitals randomly, put them up on the screen, then, you know, the person can decide which one is the correct one for each particular state. Now, we haven't actually done this part yet, actually put all this into the app, and that's what we're gonna do in this video. So if you remember back, if you didn't see the last video, go back and definitely check that out, because we did a lot of Python coding in that, in that video, and it ended up with this while loop right here that loops around three times, randomly picks three state capitals from our list uh, that we have right here, and then sort of adds those three things into its own Python list that we can then do something with. So now we need to take all of this code that we wrote in the last video and sort of put it back into our GUI app code in our flashcards.py file, right? So that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So it's not particularly difficult, but there's a lot of code and we're gonna be copying and pasting. So there's sort of high opportunity for things to go wrong. So uh, we'll kind of muddle through this and see what we can do. So first things first, we wanna to come to our state capitals function here, right? So, you know, we've got our menu and when somebody clicks on the state capitals menu drop down, the state capitals function gets called and that's just right here. And right now all we're doing is just putting a label on the screen and in fact, we can run this and see, this is where we're actually at in our app. We click this, it just says capitals and there's nothing here, right? So we've got a frame and the only thing in that frame is this label. So we can actually take that label out. We don't actually want that. But it's nice to remember that it's the state capitals frame that we're gonna be dealing with. And uh, so that's cool. So first things first, let's go ahead and um, put the mechanism in place to put our image of our state up onto the screen. And we can do this just by coming up to our old states function here and just grabbing this bit of code, right? And then we can just bring this down here to our state capitals function and just paste it in. And we just need to change this from the state frame to the state capitals underscore frame. Now, at this point, we're just creating a label, right? We're putting that label on the state capitals frame and we're packing it on there with some padding. Now there's not actually anything in this label yet. We haven't actually done that yet. So we'll come to that in just a, in a little bit. So now we want to grab all of the stuff from the last video, right? All of this stuff and just sort of paste it in, right? We're gonna have to tinker with it a bit. So we don't need to print these things, right? We might wanna random shuffle our answer list again, but we'll do that later. Okay, so we've got our while loop, we've got our dictionary with our capitals and our states, and we've got our main list with all of the actual states themselves. So okay, let's just copy this, I right click and copy, and head back over here, and I'm in my state capitals function, I'm just gonna right click and paste all this in. Now, we need to play with this. First, let's get rid of all of this stuff, we don't need this obviously. And then now let's kind of highlight all of this stuff and it needs to be tabbed over inside of this function. So that looks right. Okay, so let's go through here and see what we got. We first we got our states. This is our list of states. Okay, we're good there. There's our list of state capitals or our, our dictionary of state capitals. Okay, we're good there. We know what that's all about. And then Actually, I'm gonna take this answer list and just kind of move it down to right here, just to keep these guys. And let's create a maybe a comment that says, uh, create empty answer list and counter. All right. 
And in here we might say something like uh, generate our three random capitals. Okay. All right, so down here at the bottom, outside of our while loop, now we need to decide what we wanna do uh, with all this stuff. Now, for random shuffling states, let's also down here random shuffle our answer list. Right, okay, and that's just, we had, we had done that earlier right here, right? So the three capitals that we end up generating, we put them on a list, then they're always gonna be, the, the first one listed is always gonna be the answer, right? So we don't want that, we wanna shuffle them randomly, so that will do that. Okay, so now we're pretty much done with this random.py file. This was just for uh, sort of teaching purposes. We don't actually need to use this for anything. So you can get rid of it or uh, delete it or anything you want or just leave it there. It doesn't really matter. But now we need to decide what we want to do with our answer list, right? We've got our three potential answers and we've got the actual right answer right here, right? So now what do we want to do with it? Well, let's create some radio buttons. So let's go global, uh, let's call this capital underscore radio. And let's go capital underscore radio. And that's gonna be an int var. So we're gonna need three of them. So let's just create them. So let's go capital underscore radio underscore button one equals. And let's just, really quickly do all three of them here. So let's go one, two, and three. So this is gonna be a radio button widget, and we wanna put this in our state underscore capitals frame, and we want the text to equal what? Well, we've got our answer list, right? And these answers are the capitals, right? So for instance, Springfield, Illinois. If we look back at our thing here, if we know Springfield, then we know Illinois because we can just call our state capitals and then just call the index on it, right? So to do that, we could go, let's see, in the text, we'll just go our state capitals and then we'll pass in our answer list right here. But there's three things in our answer list. So let's just do them one at a time. So the lists, Python lists start at zero, if you remember. So zero, one, two. So that will work there, right? Okay, so next we need to designate a variable. Radio buttons always have variables. So let's go variable. And this is gonna be our capital underscore radio. And that is this guy right here, this int var, right? And then we'll give this a value of one, All right? And we can pack this on the screen and that'll work fine for now. Okay, so I'm gonna copy all of this and let's just paste it in a couple of times. Now for our answer list here, we need to change these. So this will be one and this will be two, right? So there are three things in our answer list. The first one is the zero thing, second one is the first thing, and the third thing is the second thing. Basic Python list stuff, right? Okay, so now let's save this and give this a run and see what kind of weird things we messed up. Because I always mess up things. So let's go state capitals. All right, we're getting an error there. Name random is not defined. Oh. <laughs> so remember in our random.py file, we imported random. We need to do that as well up here. Okay, so that should work. Now also we, we might get an error because we have, remember at the beginning of this video, we put our state, show state label. But there's not actually anything in there yet. So we'll probably have to fix that shortly. So let's just save this and run it just to see what where we're at. So state capitals. Okay, so we've got Austin, Austin Salem and Carson City. Now we want might want to capitalize these and we can we can do that um, if we want in a minute and we'll worry about that later. So okay, we've got those. Now we need to actually make the, the image of the state show up and we should probably do that in the, our while loop. So remember our while loop. 
the first time we run the while loop, we check to see if this is the first time we're running it right here. If count equals one, then make that our answer. Well, our answer is also gonna be the state that shows up, right? So as, as long as we're doing that here, we can also at this point, just throw up our state image. So let's go global state underscore image. And then let's go state equals and let's call states. And then we want to concatenate r underscore states and then rando, whatever our rando is. Plus, and we also want to concatenate PNG, right? So remember, this is just the same process we went through at the beginning when we did our states one and we concatenated all that to put our state, where did that go? Uh, we switched that out into, uh, where do we put that? Into the random here, right? So right here, right? Remember that we, it's, we're, all of our state images are in the states directory. So then we call the states directory slash whatever our random one was, dot PNG. We're just doing that same exact thing down here. Hopefully you remember how to do that from earlier. Okay. So then we need to do a state underscore image equals, and this will be an image TK dot photo image. And it's going to be image dot open and then state, which is just this guy we just created right there, right? Then we need to go show underscore state dot config. And then the image is just going to be this state image. And it's show state because up here, we call this show state, right? We've already put it on the screen as a label. We've already packed it. It's already on there. Now we just need to config it. Oh, I misspelled config. Config. There we go. With the correct image, right? So let's go ahead and save this. Make sure we did that correctly. Because it's Monday morning here in Vegas. And you know how Monday mornings in Vegas are. Error prone. Okay, boom. Nebraska is the first one. And then Lincoln is the answer. But now, look at this. When we click on one of these, all of them become engaged, right? That's obviously not what we want. Taking a look at this here, I could see that I forgot to change this to a different value. So now that's really all we need to do. Fix that problem. Let's run this again to make sure. So geography, state capitals. All right, so we've got Florida, Tallahassee is the answer. And now the buttons work correctly. Okay, so that's pretty simple. And uh, we're, we're ready to go here. Now we can play around with this a little bit more. We can come over here and let's add, add a pass button, right? So I'm gonna call this pass underscore button and it's a button and we wanna put it in our state capital frame and the text will just be pass and the command will just equal whatever name of this function, right? Okay, and then we can go pass underscore button dot pack, and let's give it a pad y of 10 or 15 or something just for fun. Okay, so let's save this and run it. State capitals. All right, so that's Vermont, Montpelier. Click pass, we get a new one, pass. And every time we do, everything changes. We get a new image and these answers change as well. So this is Nevada, Carson City is the correct answer, but yeah, we have Springfield and Tallahassee as well. Here we have Nebraska, Lincoln. Here we have Tallahassee and Montpelier. I repronounce that. Okay, and every once in a while we're getting the same one twice because it's just random and we're just randomly actually getting that. Since there's only 10 of, of them, that'll happen. If you had all 50 states, that wouldn't happen as often. It would probably still happen randomly. I don't know what the odds are of that, but <laughs> anyway, okay, so we're, we're ready to go here. We've got these buttons. They are being created randomly. We can run this every time we get a new image and a new set of answers to choose from, and we're good to go. So now we just need to work on 
having a button that we can click to actually answer and then doing some logic to see whether our answer was the correct answer or not. And I think we'll do that in the next video. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDF versions of all my best selling coding books. Join over 95,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and we'll see you in the next video.